So a vector's question here, um, so we've got to uh, obviously be careful that we read the uh, information and they're telling us that the vector of O to A is equal to A and the vector of O to B is equal to B and D is a point such that AC is equal to CD. So they're telling us that this line here is the same distance as this line here. And the point N divides AB in the ratio of 2 to 1. Um, well, the ratio of 2 to 1 means we're working with 2 thirds and 1 third. So AB is that. So this is basically telling me then that A to N is equal to 2 thirds of A to B. And N to B is equal to 1 third of A to B. So that's what the ratio is telling us. Um, so that's all the information put onto the uh, diagram and we've recognised what the ratio is explaining to us so now we can go ahead and answer the question. So vectors um, to me is always thinking of a journey from one position to another and it doesn't matter which uh, journey you take then the vector, the resultant vector will always be the same. So O to N. Um, so I'm going to go to get to O to N. I'm going to take the journey O to A plus a to n. That will get me to go o to a, a to n, and that is the same journey as going directly from o to n. So do we know o to a? Yeah, we know it's vector a. Do we know a to n? Well, we know that a to n is two thirds of ab. So what we need to work out then is what the vector ab is. So a to b, is the vector a to o plus the vector o to b. Well, a to o is going in the negative direction to a, so this is going to be negative a, and then o to b is b. So writing that a little bit neater, positive bit first is b to minus a. So this is going to be two thirds of b minus a. Now, because we're talking about two or more terms, it's really important you put that vector in a bracket so that we can then um, write it out. Uh, so we've got a plus two thirds of b minus two thirds of a. So a take away two thirds of a is one third of a and two thirds of b. So that's going to be the answer for the vector o n is one third of a plus two thirds of b. We're then asked to prove that OND is a straight line. Again, it's an explain question. So OND, uh, okay, so OND, we're trying to prove that they are in a straight line. Now, uh, you can't just draw on a picture and say, oh, it's because it's a straight line, because it's because the diagram's not drawn accurately. But drawing it on helps you to see where we're trying to go from. So OND, so ON, and ND. So what I need to prove is that the vector OD is a multiple of the vector ON. If I can show that's true then we know the two vectors are parallel and because they both start at the common point O then they're parallel and with a common point, so therefore they're collinear in a straight line. So I need to work out the vector O to D. So O to D is equal to O to A plus A to C plus C to D. Well, O to A is A. A to C, well, because um, we're told that OACB is a parallelogram, then we know automatically then that this must be vector B, parallel to that side. Um, because they told us that AC is equal to CD, then we also know that this is vector B. So we've got plus B here, plus another B. So shorten that down, it's A plus 2B. So that's the vector OD. We know that ON from part A is equal to 
one third of A plus two thirds of B. Now that's equivalent to, if we take out a common factor, that's equivalent to one third brackets of A plus two B. So factorize this, take out the common factor of a third, then basically we can see that OD is equal to three lots of ON. So OD and ON have a common factor of A plus 2B. So parallel. And start at a common point O. Therefore, collinear must be in a straight line. So that's the way that we prove that um, three points are in a straight line is by proving that the vectors that connect those points are multiples of each other, hence parallel. And because they start at a common point, then they must also be on a straight line.